Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, is one of the biggest celebrities in the entire world, both physically and popularity-wise. Many believe the man is clearly on steroids. Some think it's purely down to his work ethic and diet. One of his biggest critics recently was Joe Rogan, who stated that he's clearly on steroids and needs to come out and admit so. Without further ado, let's jump right into the clip, which went viral of Joe Rogan accusing The Rock of being on roids. Men who yeah. thinks that, you know, yeah. The Rock is fucking clean, for example. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So it Does The Rock say he's clean? He has implied it pretty heavily, but he also doesn't end up in <laughs> scenarios where he gets asked point blank, whereas Liver King goes out of his way to fucking lean into it and use it as like a marketing spiel. The Rock should come clean right now. He should make a video <laughs> yeah. in response to the Liver King video. Yeah. I need to talk to you because The Rock's been lying. Yeah. <laughs> What are you guys' honest thoughts on this? Is Dwayne The Rock Johnson juicing his body to the max, or is he just clean and it's down to his insane work ethic? Comment below. If you want to enter to win an iPhone 14, a MacBook Pro, or $500 cash, all you have to do is comment the hidden message in this video. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a like as well, and subscribe so we can continue to afford these prizes. Thank you for watching, and good luck. The winner will be revealed on the final day of each month. Look at a physique of the rock, like a full jacked rock. Find find the rock at his most jackety jacked. It's like you can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. No. Like that, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, is this pro longevity? Like, of course not. And it's no, he's so massive, and he's so different than he was when he was thirty. Bill Rogan's thoughts on this sparked up a massive conversation online, with people stating stuff like, "There's no way at the Rock is not on steroids." Combining his age and how grossly big he is, it's not natural to be that big and strong at his age. I'm sorry. I don't want to believe The Rock on steroids, SMH. I'm in denial. The Rock 100% uses steroids. Me personally, I think it's pretty obvious The Rock uses some sort of substance to maintain his lifestyle, which is mostly like steroids. You have to think about it logistically. He's constantly working on movies, projects, businesses, and more. To keep it going, steroids will easily help with this, and there's no shame in admitting to it. Let's go back to The Rock's earlier years. He was highly athletic and had fantastic genetics. He was also a large, powerful man, but he didn't then have the heft, striations, or vascularity that he does today. A similar figure to The Rock was Liver King, whom recently got exposed for his steroid use and came out with an apology video regarding the entire situation. Emails got leaked where Liver King would order an insane amount of roids. And if you thought that guy was clean all the time, you have to be very gullible. I'm even certain the guy has ab implants too. The main issue with Liver King was he denied being on steroids his entire career and was heavily against the use of it when asked on podcasts. In a past interview with Fumble, he actually admitted to trying steroids in the past. Me and my buddies tried it back in the day when I was 18 or 19. Didn't know what we were doing, except from that time spent experimenting, he has led a life devoid of steroids. Additionally, he had a strong warning for people who use online forums to cast doubt on the validity of his physical preparation. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. He told Roberts, they want to negate the hard work you put in. The Rock finds refuge with the daily struggle in the gym. Training is my anchor. Being on a regimented schedule. Setting a go. Failing at a go. It's the philosophies of being an athlete that carry me today. Dwayne Johnson's physicality has been at the forefront of three different careers. Football, WWE, and movies. And while he's always been jacked, it wasn't until 2013's Pain and Gain, which was shot when Johnson was in his early 40s and played an extremely jacked bodybuilder that he first appeared to be as physically massive as he is today. Now at the age of 50, it's clear how he's maintaining it. First of all, you wouldn't keep up with that kind of mass as you age naturally. But just because someone changes their appearance doesn't always mean they've been using steroids or other drugs. He even created his own mobile gym and made sure it traveled with him wherever he went so he could use it whenever he worked out. As his schedule became busier, he pushed himself to the limit in the movie Black Adam, where he repeatedly acknowledged that he had pushed his body to the limit to be as muscular as possible, so that when he wore the suit of the Atom, everyone would be able to tell it was his own muscle. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoveTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.